Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? That's annoying. But anyway, you on? Yep. Okay, morning guys. We've got a big morning this morning. How many times did I just say morning? Jamie's done all the prep work for this. So we're ready to replace the core here. So he's ground it all back. We're down to the inner laminate here. Um, I've looked inside and we can locate these holes from the inside again. So we're just going to put the balsa in and glass it all in, in one go. Same as last time, this is just a lot bigger. So we're going to laminate here, get the glass wet, and then throw them up nice and wet. Again, three layers of biax, And again, we've got the core which is slightly thinner than the existing core. So we're going to put one layer of glass behind it, which is a good thing as well, because it just gives us a little bit more strength. Put the filler in, put the balsa in, and then uh, get all that excess filler out of there, and then glass this thing in. So um, it's just me and Jamie on the tools this morning, and we're going to take on two of the two of the biggest ones we've done on this boat so far. So let's see how it goes. The temperature's nice; doesn't look like it's going to rain. So good conditions. I'll show you the other one we're doing. Again, it's all ground and prepped. Jamie's cut it nice and square. We've got the balsa cut ready to go. The, the best thing about what we're trying to do here is just be as prepared as possible. So we've got all our glass cuts, all numbered, layered. Um, everything's organized on the table. So the more sort of prepared you are, the smoother this is going to be. So we're just going to go glass, balsa, filler, glass, glass, glass. Everything's ready to go. Everything's prepared on the table. So here was like wet and rotten balsa. So we took all of that out. The balsa all around it is really good. It's dry, it's still in good condition, so this is where we stop. Okay, so like I said, we got everything prepared. All of our sheets of glass here. We've got the resin ready to go, we've got the filler ready to go. We just take a, take a few moments just to make sure everything's as prepared as possible so that we can just nice and smooth, wet the glass, throw it up, wet the glass, throw it up. We've uh, gone through all the steps in our head, so let's do it. This is the hardener or the catalyst. I'm going to put this in with my filler now. I'm going to, I'm going to start mixing it. Um, Jamie's going to mix up the resin and he can throw up the first layer of glass, that reinforcement layer that's going to go on the inside. And then I'll start putting the filler around the whole edge of this piece. Mix this really well. You want to make sure that hardener touches every little bit of this filler.
there's had bubbles in the glass. We have air bubbles behind it, we have to sand it out. We have to get the grinder and get it out. Because mm. if, if there's air, it means there's a gap between the layers. Here we go. Wow. Okay, there we go, in about 15 to 20 minutes, this is going to be dry. Wow. So this one's the first one that we did, it's already cured. It feels quite warm, there's a lot of heat coming off it, but it's already cured. Cured really well, there's no sticky patches. Super solid. Happy with that. But now we have to... Start grinding it down and fairing it and making it the same as this. It's a long process, but at least the strength is there now. Hey guys, so these repairs here are almost ready to go. Just gonna, um, he's just hit it with the uh, big eight inch grinder. And um, now we're ready to just put some filler on. So it's pretty much flat. It's a couple of little ripples in there, but the gel coat filler is gonna take care of that. We'll just um, spatula some gel coat over there and get that first layer of filler happening. Same with up there. So we're going to try and get a few of these little ones just filled. So they're going to need two or three um, applications of filler. Sand, fill, sand, until they're perfect. But uh, pretty exciting to make these turn white today. And then uh, we're going to um, spread it on with the spatula, nice and wide. The key is to put... If you don't put enough then you just wasted your time because then you've got to do it again. But if you put too much, then you've created a lot of work for yourself. So it's a fine line between how much you put on and um, just getting that getting that as close as possible as where the actual gel coat wants to end up being. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start mixing this up and then we should be good to spread it on. sad day for me today because New Zealand lost to Argentina at rugby. Argentina, Argentina beat us for the first time ever and Martina is Argentinian so I think she's gonna have a little fun fun day giving me shit. <laughs> <laughs> 